is on the run. He jumped on a jet, paused in Miami, and the fans were there in Miami. So somebody tipped his brother off, because how did he just jump, happen to be on a plane the day before they gonna raid his property? He, he got an inside man there at, at the Federal Bureau of Homeland. All right there. There have been a lot of theories out there about the downfall of Piddle. Now, one of them is that the Hollywood elites are trying to sacrifice the man. This nigga, nigga, did it, did it. He did it, did it. Eddie Griffin says the raids on Dye's holes for sex trafficking were staged and believe that Clive Davis and the head of Universal Music Groups are involved. Well, Clive Davis, yeah, that's, that's, that's the monster. And the, the, the head of Universal Music Group, what's this motherfucker's name? See, see, he's uh, put Diddy up and, and they, 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 they sacrificing Diddy. They, they, they said, nigga, you gotta take this shit because we, 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 we can't be involved. But Diddy smart. He filmed every fuck session. So he was fucking Clive and the motherfucking freak boy that run uh, Universal Music Group. So he got them on some fuck tapes. Now that's why they raid the house because they got friends in Homeland Security and the feds. And they said, get, get in there and get them tapes from this nigga. He trying to blackmail us. That's what I believe is going on. Because, you know, Homeland Security, they came in there with tanks down there, motherfucking uh, military motherfuckers, 25 deep, 30 <laughs> deep for one dancing nigga. Say what? One dancing nigga gonna have 50 goddamn troops at his goddamn mansion. It's not Suge Knight, it's Diddy, y'all. He gonna dance him to death? I mean, what the fuck? Properties owned by Diddy were within yesterday by Homeland Security as part of an ongoing investigation into the city mogul who's been accused of sexual... Now, isn't it ironic that, you know, HSI's there, the military motherfucking Homeland Security is... Man, this is anyway... The militarization of the police department has just gotten out of fucking hand. All these motherfuckers got on army gear like they going to war at somebody's mansion, right? Now, part two of this. I mean, what, 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 what the fuck? What the fuck? You gonna tear up the man's house? It's just, it's just, and you didn't put shit back to where you, you, you where you found it. You, you sons of bitches. You sons of bitches. You sons of bitches. You sons of bitches. I want to know who told the camera crews that they were going down there to raid his house. They already set up, had the motherfucking satellites, the helicopters and all, all over the top, nigga, to get the aerial view. I mean, you know, just to, you know, sensationalize the story. This is why I'm saying somebody's behind this shit. It's staged, right? Because... If it's really just a, a quick, fast hit on the motherfucker's property, nigga, you ain't gonna call the press and say, we about to hit Puffy's crib. You're just gonna hit the crib. And they're just gonna have to hear about that through the grapevine and rush down there as quick as they can. But no, we seen the aerial shot of them driving up and arriving at this motherfucker's crib. Somebody's behind it. Somebody way up the ladder. And I think that ladder is the head of Universal Music Group. As the former active Holly remember, he knows many of their secrets. Now he was in deep for a while before he suddenly quit now. Eddie started speaking, out way before Cat. Williams and everybody thought he was crazy and- Remember, pay attention, y'all. They have to let us know first before they can do anything to us. That's, that's heavenly rules, right? That's how God laid it out for these little de de demon motherfuckers to fuck with us. They can't fuck with us without letting us know that they're about to fuck with us. It's, it's like, remember Men in Black? They read the, the National Enquirer for the real news, and they didn't watch the, the fake news, because that ain't the news. They tell the truth in them, them, them little rags, 
but everybody thinks it's fake. Remember the TV show Fantasy Island? Remember, remember Fantasy Island? It's Epstein Island, man. See, that, that little Mexican at the beginning? That's a little boy fantasy. That's why we said, the plane, the plane. The plane, the plane. See, I be thinking. Look at the, uh, uh, all the Simpson episodes, like the one when they killed Kobe in the helicopter. See? You think that's a coincidence? No. They have to let us know what they're going to do. Look at Will Smith in that, uh, that gay scene in Six Degrees of Separation. Y'all acting surprised. <laughs> They've been telling us. We have to discuss TD Fakes or uh, Grape Ape. Uh, the back of his neck looked like a pack of hot dogs, y'all. But he was, uh, he was talking about swallowing something. I don't know if it was some, some, some unborn children, uh, a gang of tadpoles. Anyway, let's take a look at uh, Captain Sexy. Swallowed up. Have you ever been swallowed up? Have you gone through a time of swallowing where everything was overwhelming and you... Well, no, I can't say that I have, TD Fakes. But obviously you have. He spent a lot of time on Epstein Island. And uh, I think his manhood was left there. He's butt naked underneath that purple robe, y'all. Butt naked. The comedy show he recently, he revealed that Diddy did it and talked about his gay parties, then went on to Rose Diddy on stage now. Mm. Oh, it, nigga, too. <laughs> <laughs> this nigga, nigga, Diddy did it. He did it. Diddy did it. Yeah, he did it. Diddy did it. Diddy did it. That nigga on his way to jail, shoot night there, waiting on him. You get tired of your silly dancing in your videos All up on sale block scene dancing and shit Come on over to death row man. Come now nigga, that motherfucker 50 Cent is the most pettiest nigga on earth He be with this nigga every day Like five, four, three, two, one We come a new charge He done paid one bitch nigga That's, that's the wrong thing to do been coming here for years, nigga. This motherfucker get way colder, too. <laughs> I feel so happy you motherfuckers got to ride in buses. <laughs> Not on that bus stop, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> little kids got frozen snot stashes. <laughs> oh, shit. Hey, why? Hey, I'm 
I'm sorry the show started started late, but it was beyond my control. I appreciate y'all being patient. But check this out. I'm in my dressing room. I'm watching TV. Joe Biden just died, y'all. No. No. Yeah, no. yeah. That motherfucker dies at the end of every interview. <laughs> A nigga in her, my nigga. She played nigga long enough to get in that White House with that white ass husband of hers, nigga. <laughs> Since she been in there, she ain't done shit for a nigga, with a nigga, about a nigga. Fuck that nigga. Eddie also believes that the raids in Diddy's The Mansion was staged, and now he bases that on the fact that the news was already there, and witnessed the raid from the very beginning as a... ...properties, but not raid him. They raid a nigga's property, they coming to get you too. I don't know how this man's still on the loose, but you know, he got the dough, and he got the know. If it's really just a, a quick, fast hit on the mother's property, nigga, you ain't gonna call the press and say, we about to hit Puffy's crib. You're just gonna hit the crib. And they're just gonna have to hear about that through the grapevine and rush down there as quick as they can. But no, we seen the aerial shot of them driving up and arriving at this motherfucker's crib. Somebody's behind it, somebody way up the ladder, and I think that ladder is... A lot of people believe that Diddy's downfall was orchestrated by alcohol. Giant deal now they have reached a settlement. To resolve a lawsuit over their sour, the tequila partnership ends in a bitter legal battle. The EMB battled hip hop star and mogul accused the company of racism. So when they put you on that pedestal, and then you start thinking it's about you, and you wanna take over their shit, them people look back like this, hold on, who the f think he is? Oh, we'll show you better than we can tell you. Then they'll try to reason with you, and they'll talk to your manager, cause your manager look like them, and they'll be like, hey, man, tell, tell your man to chill out, you know? And then the manager come in, and he trying to keep his job. Hey, hey, guy, be, uh, calm down. And then you go walk around like it's all about you. You got all the, the cars and the mansions and the jets and all the yachts and all this and all the people running around. You talking about, yeah, yeah, yeah. And now you want to fight. Now you want to bite the hand that feeds you. Don't your mama ever always tell you that? Your mama say, never bite the hand that feeds you. What's good, world? It's your boy HB. Now, I know P. Diddy been in the news, and I know people, you know, doing these lawsuits, and people saying he doing this and that. A lot of people done came out. A lot of people got, inf got knowledge and information about what Diddy was doing, got a lot of proof and stuff like that. But my thing is, I feel like, a lot of these guys in the industry do the same things Diddy done. They just ain't getting outed like Diddy is. And I really feel like the reason why all this stuff came to light 
I don't think it's just because Diddy was just a terrible person. He was doing all these terrible things. I believe he done something behind the scenes that the power, the powers that be, the elite didn't like. Because you got to understand, Diddy ain't the only person that's doing this stuff. He ain't the only one. It's a lot of artists in the game that's doing the same things that Diddy doing, that Diddy done, that Diddy is alleged is allegedly accused of doing. You know what I'm saying? I ain't seen no like physical proof of any of the things that they saying. I ain't seen no video. I ain't seen no pictures. I ain't seen anything. So I'm going off with these people that was around him saying. So, but this is the thing. Everybody ain't gonna say the same thing. So if people been saying this about Diddy all these years, it's got to be some truth to it. It's got to be some truth to it. But what I say is, I feel like in all actuality, Diddy did something to set these people off. He did something to set the industry. The, the elites off because he's going through a massive ritual, a massive humiliation ritual, like of 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 just humongous magnitude. Now you gotta understand, Kanye West went through the same thing, but he did it in reverse. Kanye West was speaking out and outing people. Diddy is being outed. They called Kanye West crazy, and you know, it looked like he was gonna die. There's like all kind of stuff was going on with Kanye, but he fought through it. Now, all kind of stuff going on with Diddy right now. Now, I'm not sitting here saying that I rock with Diddy. Like, musically, like, producer and, and knowing music like he do, Diddy is a genius. But when it comes to the real life stuff, when it comes to, you know, the the um, the, the, the R-A-P-E allegations, the, the, the sexual assault allegations, all these different things. When it comes to stuff like that, that's serious because that's people's lives destroyed. But I also know this too. Diddy did something to piss off the elites. They ain't just doing this stuff for no reason. Because all these artists, when they start when they start rebelling or going against the industry, and when you in a when you in a tax breaker like Diddy, you can't do you can't just say I if I'm gonna just do whatever I'm gonna just say I'm gonna go against y'all. No, you t you sign to us. You belong to us. You're going to do whatever we tell you to do. And I feel like Diddy did something he wasn't supposed to do. Now he paying for it. And he paying for it in a major way because all this stuff has been suppressed for years. But now people coming out and speaking on it. Now it went away for a little minute with Cassie. Then people started saying, hey, I can get some money too. Not everybody not everybody coming out of the woodworks. Now the floodgates not open. Everybody's speaking on it. But I feel like Diddy did something to piss off the elites. They allowing it, cause this is the thing. It's been a lot of artists, man, that they have similar backgrounds like Diddy. That was, you know, what I'm saying that was in music in the golden age of hip hop, R and B. So, you mean to tell me that these people, these guys and ladies back in the '80s and '90s was living a a different way? I ain't saying they ain't on it now, but I'm saying back then, you know, what I'm saying? you got to think about this, like from the '70s to the '80s with cocaine and you know and parties and orgies and all oh man like it was a different time in, in the 70s and, and 80s and you got to think about it the kids that was born in the 70s was the kids that was the teenagers in the 90s and the 80s you know what i'm saying so you got to think about it if i was born in the set if i was born like the late 70s or whatever like that the, you know what i'm saying then i'm the teenage then i'm the teenagers in the 80s and then or i'm the teenagers in the 90s so you know what i'm saying then i then, you know what i'm saying or oh, i'm you know, if I was born, you know, what I'm saying is, you got to think about it. The 90s, the, eight, the 70s, 80s, 90s was a crazy time in the world when it comes to drugs, when it comes to all kind of things were going on. And see, things were done in secret then. So you got to admit, you got to think about all the wild and crazy stuff that was going on when it wasn't no cell phones and no cameras and nobody would know what was going on. You would just have to hear stories. You would never see any proof. So think about that in the 90s when P. Diddy is one of the biggest producers in the world. Think about people like R. Kelly, one of the biggest artists in the world. Got all this power, all these women. You don't have cameras around 24-7. You don't have nobody spilling the beans and letting you know what's going on. And you and you, and you fast forward to 2024 when you can go back to old days when they had a little bit, when they posted like little snippets of stuff or different pictures and stuff and now you can bring all this stuff to light and you could all you got to do is hit a button and it goes out to a million people you know what i'm saying at once all it takes is one person to see it they repost it and repost it and repost it 
So it's a it's a different ball game. And I feel like Diddy did something to piss these folks off. And now everything that he done, all his skeletons is coming out. Just like R. Kelly, same way. The same way. R. Kelly, I feel like R. Kelly did something to piss these folks off. They said, all right. I feel like that little documentary was just a cover-up. That's all it was. I don't feel like that was just it. Because people been saying this about R. Kelly all these years. And then all of a sudden they did this special. And now, nah, they've been saying this stuff all these, all these years. It's just the elite 